Welcome back to Social Club. We've picked our team of the season so far. We've picked our player of the season so far. Let's look ahead now into next year, toward the end of the season, and do our top four predictions. I don't think any one of us, being fair, could possibly have predicted like the top ten of the league <laughs> <laughs> going all the way back it's to middle. August. Um, James, what you, what you reckon? Who's going to be the, the teams that ultimately end up in the Champions League places. Going to pl throw a curb curveball at you. Okay. Tottenham, they're going to finish fourth, but then Chelsea are just going to nick, nick the Champions League and break all the Tottenham hearts. Oh, sorry, you I win, see. Win, <laughs> win the Champions oh, yeah. I get you. Yeah. I think they'll get fourth, but ch again, it'll happen again. Chelsea win the Champions League with Hiddink because they love a, good, love a good revival after a crisis. Sure. And Tottenham will be knocked out in the Europa League and we can all laugh at them. <laughs> and but I think Man United will still do it. Sounds I think they'll get. Me. I think they'll. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't said you're in the top four yet, yeah, mate. I think Man United will do it. Even if Van Gaal Lee stays, I think they'll just they'll they'll get in the Champions League because he always like can grind it out. I think like okay. Van Gaal can. Uh, I think Man City second. Going to go with an Arsenal. I, 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 I think Arsenal are in time for a title. I think okay. they are. So I think that's my kind of top four. Okay, so you're going Arsenal, United. Arsenal, Man City, United, Man City, United. Tottenham, Tottenham, but obviously Chelsea. Out of Champions interest, League. fifth? Um, <sighs> you're testing me there, mate. Uh, I want to say Liverpool. It's, that's fine, it's, said Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I want to say Liverpool because I think January, but I'll have a better idea from it post-January. I think okay. that, that's kind of my prediction so far. Okay. Barry, what do you reckon? Top four. Uh, Everton. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm like James. I think Arsenal will win it. Mm. And I hope they win it. Cause I think no, but they... Because, well, just because... Good to watch. Good side. Yeah. And, and don't don't overspend. And don't... I've done... For me, I've always said that they've always done stuff the right mm. way, Arsenal. Yeah. The one of the clubs, the few clubs that I look around think, yeah, I'd like Everton to be like that. You know, good side, play good football, consistent... Um, yeah, I think Arsenal to win it. City, I think, will be second. City, for me, unless they get a Ryan Shawcross or a Scott Dan, he will just go and sit in the defence and defend. Mm. Yeah. You know, company come back the other day and lasted about <laughs> seven minutes or something, didn't he, and went off again. And they just went. He said, he said, he said my body feels invincible. It's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apart from all the injuries. All the little like, injuries. It's like he's trying to convince himself crying on Twitter. <laughs> the body's fine. The Twitter thumbs are spectacular. But if you leave that Mangala fun. in at the back, then someone else. Yeah. I, feel, I, I think, think, I think Norwich can catch them if they leave Mangala <laughs> there. <at the back. laughs> I thought they might have been solid this season with getting Otter, <laughs> Otter and Endy in. Because yeah. he was quality last mm. year. Mm. But he seems like he's having trouble adapting and trying to figure out. He's a bit he probably too would be Well, he would be better with company yeah. alongside him. But the problem is company's not going to be alongside him. He's, yeah. he's out again. So they need. They still need a good centre-half. Mm. Just to, like Robbie said earlier on, over something else. Just go and get someone and he defends. People who you overlook, but they don't have to be sexy footballers. They just need to be able to defend. And yeah. I think a sure cross or a damn mm. would really show Man City up. So I think they, they will be in the top two places. Third... I think Mourinho will go to United, so I think they'll be guaranteed top four if okay. he goes there because he loves he loves that. You know, everyone's against me, but at a new club, and he, mm. the players will respond the first because it'll be all new to them, and yeah. he'll get everyone together. So I think they'll be third. If the, if he doesn't, if Van Van Gaal, I don't know because they're still up there. As much stick as we give them, they're still in there, aren't they? Yeah. You know, they're still in there, and they've still got a lot of quality players. You know, I just don't think. To me, the problems are, I just don't think he knows how to play. I, they, they seem to change yeah. the formation, the players. He seems to be trying everything differently. And I just don't know whether they're responding to him because they have still got good players, United, you know. And But I, I think they will finish in the top four, even if he stays there. I think they've got just enough quality okay. to be in there. Four? The four a tough one because, like you say, Spurs at the moment, Quality. they look like they've got it yeah. sorted. Pochettino's done well. They're hard, to, you know, they're hard to beat. Kane's getting back amongst the goals now. Ali's doing well. I love Christian Eriksen. Fantastic footballer. So they've got a good a good squad. 83 right-backs as well. Always a bonus. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, you know, I think Spurs will be knocking on the door. You know, who's to say Leic Leicester have got a big amount of points. If they... If they it's interesting now. It's going to take a big next, capitulation from Leicester to slip out. Well, the next ball. two or three games for me will say, because they've had the loss now. How did he bounce back yeah. after the defeat? If they can get that going, they're definitely in with a shout. Who's to say Watford aren't in with a shout at the moment? Yes, this might, you know, they might fall away. 
Liverpool may be there, they may not, you don't know. Everton could be there, they may not. Stoke, I think it's really, for me, like James said, you won't have any better idea until February when all the business has been done because if the likes of Liverpool bring one or two in, that could turn mm, it. Yeah. Everton, get a, a goalie you can catch, save, <laughs> stand on his line, do Go- anything. Goalie, goalie, that, goalie, goalie that can go Everton could do goalie. all that, you know, but there's te- yeah. a goalie, sorry, yeah. I, I don't know, we've just got something in goal that <laughs> it shouldn't be there. Just a but you don't, you don't know, but there's three. Oh, it was four because I threw one in that you missed before, so it's four. <laughs> Well, I think... I kind of like Tim Allen, too. <laughs> it's, I think that, <laughs> for me, at the moment, the best way to, yeah, the best way to, for me, the way to look at it is, is that Arsenal and City, I think, have got top two locked down. That's mm-hmm. how I look at it at the moment. United will be in there. But fourth, I'd still even say yeah. till about 11th, it's still, it could still be grabbed by someone getting on that run because it's a bit it's a bit wide, but it's a mad yeah. little yeah. league at the moment. The key, the key to it is consistency. And that's what points me toward Tottenham because yeah. they've been the they most consistent the anyway. side yeah. in the whole of the Premier League. You could argue have been yeah. Leicester, maybe. Flying. Robbie, can you bring yourself to put Spurs in the top four? Yeah, they got a chance. I have to admit, they 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 are. Didn't like saying that. They didn't like saying that at all. Like ashes in his mouth. That yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like saying it, but you know they are being very consistent at the moment. I think with Spurs, a lot of it's going to come down to injuries. Mm. You know they are. So they've got some key players like Kane. Um, Deli Ali, you know, Ericsson, those guys. If they got, like, say, because they've been fairly injury free all yeah. season, if they get a few injuries, it could change. Um, and I, 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 it's the top four so hard. I Arsenal mean, top of the pile? I'm hoping, you know, again, I don't want to. Every time s- you get tantalisingly close to it. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> want to say that. You, know, yeah, yeah. you know, we've got a lot, of, I was looking at our fixtures, we've got a lot of difficult away games coming up. We've got uh, Liverpool away. We still got to play Everton away, Stoke away, Manchester United away, Man City away. So if Tim's if, in goal, <laughs> that's an easy game. <laughs> well, we've been very up until the up until the sort of Southampton game. We've been pretty good away from home. So if we can rediscover that consistency, get back some of the injured players, mm. um, we've got a chance. I'd like to say that we could win it. City second, but then after that, it's hard for me to decide who else is going to make the top four. I think Leicester will. Mm. make the top four and I think then it's going to be a battle it's, it's one of three teams that's going to get in there which I think is Man United Liverpool and Spurs I still think Liverpool with Klopp can go on a run yeah. and mm. get in there I, I just see them at some stage hitting a run together and, Baz isn't and, a fan of the Jamie um, Martin O'Neill <laughs> I, I, I think they can you know, brilliant. So, brilliant. but then I don't know I don't think United at the moment, I don't think they're going to get in the top four. I think so. At the moment, I'll go. The weird thing about United is that we were all going, but you know they're not performing well, but they're still winning and they're still yeah, up there they're yeah. just... until they start to, you know. And now the the, the shit football has started to match the results. Hasn't you start it? to lose. Sudden, you start losing at home to Norwich and things well, like that. When you drop it's, out it's, that top four and all you start of a sudden, to think it's very to yourself, actually, back, you know what I mean? You lose at home to Norwich. That is a really poor result. Yeah. And, I don't know. I'm going to go. So, Arsenal, Man City, uh, Leicester, so, sorry, Tottenham and Leicester. Mm, wow. Okay. Is the top four. That's an amazing top four, isn't it? Can you imagine that? What scene? Just for money. So be, that'd be amazing. It would be, just it would be crazy. It but as I said, four, but I still amazing. think Liverpool got a chance of getting in there, yeah. not just yeah. say because you're here. I think if they was to put some sort of run together, they've done it before. That's if the, they could I, get in there because they're one of them. I say that about anyone. It's yeah, but Liverpool, yeah. Liverpool's a real momentum team, the and thing, I think the thing for me is, look, we we are firmly entrenched in the mid t- in mid table at the minute, mm. so we look further out of the picture than I think we actually are. And the only thing that we've got going for us is that we've had we are still five points, which and I've said this a lot. The point gets bigger and bigger whenever you lose a game, like, but you know, we're we're like what three points, three point before playing uh, in the midweek game, of course. We're three points off fifth, five points off fourth, and we've managed to stay in touching distance without, and as I said this on the previous show, we've had no outstanding performers in our team. Mm. We've got no no one scoring mm. goals, no one's playing particularly well in our yeah, team, and yet yeah. we're still there. And Spurs, who everyone's raving about, have got goals, they've got assists, they've got a team playing at the highest level. And they've had, had no, level. as I said, they've had no injuries. No injury, no, 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 no real injury been concerns. Injury free season for them, really. So I'm kind of hoping that, and because I'm an eternal optimist, and I'm a Liverpool fan, 
you, if we can find if, and it's all ifs, because that you're right, it could. It, it, there's ifs for what? The there's it's ifs been. for Palace. Yeah. West there's Ham. ifs for West Ham. There's ifs for Just for both. all kinds of clubs mm. there. But I have to look at it from a Liverpool perspective, and I think that if we can get one of our centre forwards firing. And one of our and, and got and another player just scoring chipping in with a few goals yeah. and we they've got yeah. the ability to do that but it's just about them clicking that we can I think we can make top four so I'd have I said it from the start of the season and I can't see past it still I think Arsenal for the title again I think you're right I think City for, for second because I think they're, they're just the next best team in the league mm-hmm. aren't they third that's a big one I, I've got Leicester to slip out because I can't fathom a well where Leicester <laughs> do finish in the top four uh, but I think they'll make the European places It'd be and a then nice I think it's a case it. of yeah be nice. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I'd be inter- I'd like to see Man United drop out obviously so I'd go Spurs Liverpool Liverpool yeah. anyone else have massively missed Chelsea are not even in the not even in the conversation well, are we, we, we going to do a relegation well we're going to talk relegation yeah. in a moment so stay tuned for that I just, um, think, I just think you can make a case for I could sit here and go if yeah. Everton actually tighten up Everton will waltz into it because yeah. we're a point yeah. behind you yeah. so essentially we're six points behind fourth which is two wins which yeah. is when we've got teams coming up so I just think Stoke I looked at Stoke and thought these have got goals in them and mm. normally they can defend you know, they're a good defensive side. Everton have put three past them. Yeah. So Should many factors, more. though, isn't it? Oh, but so there is. Yeah. You look at it, you know it's what, wide you, open. And, and yeah. this, is why, this is why you can never write off City for winning that title. Because no. a lot of times it boils... It. It's not even just a jinx it. A lot of times it boils down to squad, right? Yeah. And if you get... If, if you, Aguero gets if Lukaku Aguero, got yeah. injured, for instance... You oh, know, of course, that's a major be all setback. over the place, yeah. And that's what City have got. They... They can then still bring in players Bonnie or that are of the Bonnie same or. sort of or similar standard, and, and that's the advantage they've got over everybody. Well, all else. it takes for City to win the league potentially is Aguero to come back in the middle of Fly March in. and just go, just like fire, like mm. like Tevez did the other season when they won the league, where he just came back from his holidays and decided to play football. Back like golf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's I'm hoping with us that Alexis Sanchez will come back in the yeah, new year and try and do a too. similar thing for us. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping, you know, but. Uh, We'll see. I guess we'll it's see in the fullest of time. But it's interesting. What's great is that what what I love about it is that the the predictions that we're throwing out now and the thoughts we're having around it are so massively different from what we were having three mm. months ago. So I and almost can't even fathom. Will be. Yeah, <laughs> again, it what, be. exactly. It could be completely different. The yeah. Premier League could start to start to settle down as we kind of expect it to. But you know, there's nothing to say a Leicester or a Palace or a whatever no. can't continue can't continue to charge. Fascinating. Let us know your top four and I guess European places predictions because why not in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out the rest of this week's show as we are talking about the season so far. We've picked our teams of the season, we've picked our players of the season and now we're going to go on to talk about who's in contention for relegation. So Chelsea fans, do stay tuned for that. One. It should be an interesting one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Do it now or we'll basically come round and batter you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy the rest of the content. Ta-da.